Welcome to your reading, Gemini's your girl T. Welcome back to Vix and Tarot. Please excuse my floor, y'all. I gotta get a new background thing so I can put on, so I can put the cards and stuff on. I've just been doing it on my bare floor. This is the other room. I already got this little messed up right now, but I'm, doing, I'm trying my best. All right, don't please bear with me. This is my Gemini Sun Moon Rising. This is your November 2023 Tarot and Oak Card reading. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that bell. Just follow me on Instagram. It's in the description box below. Anything else you need to know about me, it's in the description box below as well. Excuse my voice. I'm a little bit in and out sick. But yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm cold to this pile. I don't know why, guys. Number three. And I'm hearing that show by Pleasure P. Boyfriend number two. Don't know what I want. Ooh. Just call boyfriend number two. Someone's a dyke or a masculine woman. This could be you or someone that you're dealing with. What's going on for my Gemini Someone Rising, y'all? What's going on? Gemini Someone Rising. November 2023. Gemini Someone Rising. November 2023. Someone's dead. Bitch, because I got the Juice World song. It's called Juice for Already Dead. Bitch, I'm already dead. Somebody be dead for years. You could just be finding something out that someone been dead for years. Spirit wants you to make an altar. Some of you need to get tested for COVID if you've been feeling really sick. For some, you could just be a professional tester. Are you going to be? This little struggle you're going through won't last forever, okay? The struggle won't last forever. Boyfriend number two. I'm hearing a mulatto. Somebody's mulatto. Oh, Creole? Ray Charles. That's funny because Jazz song. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. What are you saying? Sorry. That was a terrible accent. <laughs> I need water, y'all. Don't mind me. But yeah. You could be kicking someone to the curb. Or someone wants to kick you to the curb. But I think, yeah, I see fuck them, so I feel like you're kicking someone to the curb once you find some type of information now. You guys could be in college or going back to college. Yeah, someone, you're gonna find out, like, someone betrays you, someone that wears a lot of yellow or blue. S someone that is known, could be a hood known or just a known person. This person cheated on, or you're gonna find out someone did something with someone that's more known, like, they got a lot of eyes on them. They could be famous on Instagram or social media or like in real life in some type of way. You're going to find out about it. You guys can be thinking about getting a new puppy, a new dog, or a new pet. Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson scream. You could feel like you want to scream right now. Think about who's going to love me. Tiana Taylor. My life with you. My life with you. Ooh, baby. Please wait up for me till whenever I get home. You know that I'm all alone, thinking about what I'm gonna do. You could be getting a new job offer soon. Yeah, Mr. Vegas, you need to remember that you are blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed every day of my life. I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning and I lay my head to rest, every day of my life, I am blessed. Pop smoke hotel lobby. Someone could have did something in a hotel while they was drinking. Cause you got Pop Smoke Hotel Lobby in New York. And you also got Miguel, how many drinks? You could have they could have had a few drinks and did this. But I definitely see with Thames Free Mind and you see the paper is like cut in the in the, in the direct middle. I feel like it's gonna be a little split between y'all. Someone's an alcoholic, they drink too much and don't remember what they do when they drink. Someone's making a diss track or someone made a diss track. And new edition. If it is enough, why do I feel this way? Why does she stay on my life? This was for someone different. If you were not going through a betrayal, this could have been past energy. But I definitely see you slowly falling in love or infatuation with somebody new. If it is enough, why do I feel this way? Why does she stay on my life? Alright, I'm using Tower of the Divine. I'm gonna get straight into it because I 
we need to know what's going on for my Gemini. There's a lot of different messages for everyone, but I definitely see with the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck, this is regarding a family or relationship. Somebody betrayed you and spirit saying fuck them. You're gonna have a new job. For some it's a co-worker, for some it's a relationship, for some it's a family member. Take it where it applies, but you're gonna tell someone you could hit the road, Jack. You could be a dyke or a masculine woman, or this could be a dyke or a masculine woman. Just remember that you are blessed. You might get a new pet. You need to make an altar, protect yourself. And yeah. Anything else that you see in here? I see the Jacksons, Janet. Ray Charles, so Louisiana Jazz Energy, Caribbean, New York, Connecticut, and something about Atlanta, and San Diego. That's my hair there. What's going on for my Gemini's November 2020 based on ancestors? What's going on? In the Cotton Club, and the bottles. Something about apples, red apples. This person could be a Leo. A lot of cars came out, y'all. It's a whole story, y'all already know. Paint your wands reverse. I definitely see you could have met this person while you was at a party or something. Or this person you know it's like a very outgoing individual. Could be a fire sign. This person loves to party. But there's someone that they don't know how to make a decision. They could come to you to make a lot of decisions, Gemini. This could be a Taurus. But you could have thought of, or you could have been with this person seriously, or thought about committing to this person, or this person could be an air sign. No, I feel like this is your energy. This is definitely your energy, Gemini. You're being very cutthroat with this person and direct about how you feel. I definitely see you guys are getting into a squabble or argument. You see the two people between the fire, and this is about a love or relationship confirmation. The person this person could have did something with is a male, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces. Yeah, you're going to get some fast communication with this. And this landed directly on the fuck them card. So you're going to get some fast communication for someone about what they did. This, yep, seven of swords reversed. The betrayal. And spirit is telling you to stay strong during this time. This person may try to come in with an apology or some type of offer to make things right. But with the nine of swords reversed, they're not telling the truth. They're keeping things out. Because this person was drunk when it happened. They wasn't even in their right state of mind. So how can they tell you what really happened? You know, it's going to be someone else that was there. It's going to tell you what happened. This is going to break your heart. You might feel a little bit heartbroken. Five of Cups reversed. I know the feeling, but you need to hold yourself back from this person. This person's very manipulative. They could come off very common, a queen of wands, or they could be a fire sign. But I definitely see you're going to have a new beginning here without this person. You're going to be more focused on yourself. Don't listen to what the people be saying outside. They don't know what the fuck going on. A lot of page energies, a lot of immature energy here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people think they know what's best. They don't know shit. Go with your gut. You could be having going to Catholic church and have that red tie. You know the red ribbon them Catholics be wearing? Or oh, this could be the person that you're with that has that. Someone likes a lot of jewelry. Earrings, necklaces, bracelets. A bunny is significant too. A horse. Somebody likes horseback riding. Someone could be into drinks. Like I said, a big party person. This person drinks too much. They take it too far and they definitely put you in a third party situation but i definitely see you focusing on yourself you could be collaborating with others and focusing on making your dreams a reality i feel like at first you just focus on you know your work and school and this person but now you're gonna once this person gets out the way you could be focused on work school and your dreams and i definitely see in the future you're gonna meet somebody new let me get some love oracle for y'all i'm gonna use the head and heart secret oracle get some love messages that's going on What's going on for my Gemini Sun Moon Rising? November 2023. My Gemini Sun Moon Rising. Bond on the deck. Influence attaches. Third parties. Pierce. Didn't I just say a third party? Somebody's being influenced by either their friends to go out and drink, and that's where they need these third parties. I'm like, I'm keeping a hundred with you, Gemini. Spirit's telling you to, even though this happened, keep an open heart. Try to keep yourself open. Still be receptive. Still be vulnerable. It's going to be hard. Someone's here, your color is blue. With the heart fog, mixed singles, block emotions are messed up. You could be feeling like this person gives you mixed emotions or this whole thing is messed up. 
this person could be feeling with you or this you could be feeling abandoned rejected with the rejection card in reverse but this person feels abandoned rejected this person or you could be spying on social media and other things on each other this person that she was dating this person could have a really fit body blonde hair or a brunette with colored eyes someone that likes to wear an anklet on one leg or a bracelet on one one arm this person lacks depth. This person lacks awareness of the things that they do. This person is very self-centered. They lack value. They lack depth. They're very superficial. And I feel like once you get rid of this person and you focus on work, school, dreams, you're going to have peace, you're going to have harmony, and you're going to build a new solid friendship. And not only a friendship, that will lead into a relationship. Let me pull some more love oracle on. Hold on. I'm going to use the romance fairy oracle get some more love messages. For my Gemini's. Yes, guys. Can I get some more love messages for you guys, ancestors? My Gemini's. So, my November 2023. Yeah, you guys are going to have an honest communication about this thing. It's because I feel like it's going to come out to you before this person. So this person will have no choice but to be honest with you. And I definitely see once it's over, you're going to have a new unexpected connection with someone that you never... This is going to be dating. Once you get rid of this person, you're going to be dating someone you're complete opposite. opposite. But you and this person is going to make each other feel young again. It's going to be like a youthful feeling relationship. Spirit wants you to forget this past person though. And friend zone though. Because you got forgive, friend zone. Because I definitely see you entering a new fearless love with someone new here. Yeah, you guys going to be very sexual. That's what I'm getting. You and this new person after you friend zone and forgive this past person. That makes sense. You go, you and this past person are going to have time apart after some honest communication. So, just so letting you know about that. Really. Could be a I can be strong water and fire energy from this other person, this betrayal person. Any more messages for my Gemini? It's money. Matter of fact, let's get some money messages, for Money messages, money and career messages for my Gemini. Someone rising. November 12th, it's Let's go on the money messages for my Gemini. Someone rising. perfectly wow this is this whole reading landed perfectly we is supposed to be like it landed in the perfect spread like one up here one down here and in the middle cards perfect spread and then guess what i think this person's a fire sign because look it's peeking at the bottom the queen of wands is peeking at the bottom here so i think show you a fire sign but i definitely see in your career and your money you are reluctant to go towards your dreams you feel like you can't make it happen you feel like it's impossible but spirit wants you to change your mindset and at the ace of cups here and have more of a loving and prosperity filled you know what i'm saying and with the judgment card here it's giving me that the divine is ending this for a reason everything is happening under divine timing there's a reason why you keep being nudged to do a certain thing that you feel like you can't do because let's say oh i look like this i can't get that oh i can't make this happen because i'm in this well try did you even try did you even try did you even try did you even make a plan did you even try did you even try you really need to ask yourself that and not only that next card right under the judgment card like i said divine is shining a light on you to go after something only you in that first thing that you just thought about just now yeah that 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 thing you feel like you can't do, that thing you just thought about just now. Yeah, do that. Eight of Swords of Earth, get out your head. I'm getting mad. This is for you, King of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you, masculine energy. Watching this, this is for you. You're meant to be successful. And I just heard a glass drop. You're meant to be successful. 
you're going to get married. You feel like because of this person that is, that is over, it's not over. And the person you end up with, you're going to be glad things ended with this person. Straight up. This person is not going to put you in third parties. And I've seen once you get with this new person, you're going to live in a mansion and have extravagant parties that people are going to talk about for years to go on. You're worried about nothing. And I, I, it's like, I feel like I know you, but I don't. You worried about nothing. What I'm gonna tell you to do, I can't tell you what to do with this past person that's still around you. It's gonna be literally like this, revealed to you. But what I can tell you, that thing you feel like you can't do, Spirit's telling you to do it. At least try. You'll be shocked at the result. I'm gonna pull some Panther. I don't know, I don't wanna be a whole emotional wreck rant, but this is what they're telling me. And the person that's person cheating on you is very known. Could be a celebrity, Instagram, or social media, something like that. What's all enough for a Gemini? It's November 2003. get a new car or just live in a life in extravagance in the future yeah this person with the accident card on the three of cups this person was like oh i didn't mean to do it it was an accident bullshit bullshit she never did that and you're gonna have full-blown evidence <laughs> but like i said like i said baby it's gonna hurt but you're gonna persevere you're gonna hop over that leap it's, it's just gonna take a little time this person could have made you feel bad about yourself at one point especially it could be a blonde and you could be like a darker haired one or other blondes did that's for someone in particular but you also be finding out your origin story you could be going back and researching your roots taking a dna test or something and didn't i just say idea whatever this idea is yo didn't i just say this two seconds ago you need to act on it and stop wasting time bro stop playing with my top get to that get to going make it happen because spirit's telling you it's going to work out how many times I told you that little idea that you keep sleeping on? You gonna be mad if somebody else take it. Straight up. You gonna be aggy. What's going on for my Gemini? It's November 2023. Oh, I gotta take a shoot. I gotta take a poopy. -poo. Change, like I didn't I just say that something's gonna happen on Friday, but change one thing today. Start this idea small. You don't have to have everything perfect. Start small and build your way up. That's the that's how all the greats did. Trust your intuition. She's always right. The cards are telling you, bro. Allow unlimited abundance. It's right in your face. Believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. That's the other one. Embrace your inner divine goddess. And your your reflection, your reality is a reflection of your inner world. Like I said, you need to change your inner world and it will reflect in your reality. I'm doing this right now with my damn self. Um, yeah, let me pull some cards at times so you can figure out what signs is involved in this Gemini. Let me see this one. What's going on for my Gemini's November 2023 Spirit Guides Ancestors? Did I say a fire sign? Do not listen to friends. 11 in reverse. Your friends don't want the best for you. They want to be better. Don't listen to them. A Scorpio is significant. An Aquarius is significant. A Leo is significant. A Sagittarius is significant. And you can call something else. Something will be revealed to you in four days to four weeks. Alright, this is your reading, Gemini. Do you like this video? 
this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you know if I'm on that post, which is daily. This is November 2023, Tell Card Reading. If you're interested in more readings, subscribe to my channel. If you want to book one, hit me up on Instagram, which is in my description box below. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay blessed. And remember who you are. Don't let nobody tell you who you are. And most importantly, baby steps to make the dream work. Okay? Love y'all. Peace.